Halo Infinite Memory Agent, Part 3. Oliver, there are no records of me at all in the UNSC archives. Affirmative, Lieutenant. Access my personnel file. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. None exists for me to access. I simply have your registry identifying you as Lieutenant. I'm a ghost. No, worse. I'm a suitcase. Naval intelligence fills me up with coded intel, ships me off, only to have me do it all over again, if I survive. Maybe I'm being punished for something. Did I commit a crime and, and my sentence is a life of espionage? No. That doesn't feel right. The Master Chief brought something amazing out of that civilian from New Mombasa. If he's so great, maybe he'll shed some light on me. Maybe he can... The apt shift inducer has begun venting trihydride hexazine. Is this a critical failure? This is a traceable chemical compound, which could make us more likely to be discovered by enemy scanners. Additionally, the app control configuration appears to have become laden with ice in the absence of this anti-freezing chemical. Can you provide a visual inspection? I'll take a look. Do you see it? Ah, I can feel it too. There's a couple of centimeters of frost covering the aft control thing. What are you going to do about it? Given my lack of appendages... Okay, what am I supposed to do? You must eliminate the frozen material. There's a specialized tool next to the console. It's a screwdriver. Yes. State of the art. Funny. The sharp edge on the business end of this thing is all worn down. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've had to do this before. Stabbing this ice feels good. I have definitely done this before. Maybe not just with ice, either. Whoa, I don't want to think about that. Focus on the mission. Oliver, play another archival recording. Uh, someone in uniform who served alongside the Master Chief. Accessing the UNSC archives. Playing a mission report from Captain Carol Raleigh. Call sign, Foehammer. From the Battle of Installation, 04, dated September 20th, 2552. So bear with me, cause this after action report is gonna be a little punchy. <laughs> this is Echo 419 on a sortie from the Pillar of Autumn crash site. It all started when we made a blind slip space jump from Reach. We were following cold protocol, but the Covenant was right behind us. We ended up in this place, this ring. Since then, I've been scouting for survivors, providing air support, and keeping the Master Chief supplied with all the best goodies the UNSC has to offer. You know our motto, we deliver. I wasn't sure what to make of him at first. I'd heard the talk about those Spartans, kept on ice most of the time, kept to themselves the rest. But as soon as we made contact with the enemy and I saw him in action, ha, huh, what can I say? I was a fan. Best fighter I'd ever laid my eyes on. But let me tell you, he's a whole lot more than that. He needed a lift to the control room of this ring, and that AI of his, Cortana, had the bright idea of performing an aerial insertion from underground, flying the chief in through tunnels beneath the surface. Look, I'm the best pilot in the fleet, and I can open a bottle of beer with my wingtip in a hurricane. But my gut was telling me it was better to risk the anti-air fire and go over the surface. I'm still the ranking officer, and I sure as hell don't take orders from some damn AI. So it was my call. That's when the chief came out of his shell. He hasn't been too keen on talking, but it turns out He's hiding a silver tongue underneath that golden visor of his. When it came time to get me to do the mission their way, he played me 
as easily as he could field strip an assault rifle. <laughs> I mean, he pushed my buttons, told me it was probably better taking the exterior route because maybe I wasn't up to the task of navigating those tunnels, <laughs> which really pissed me off. So I said, hmm, I'd show them. Once we were in the tunnels, he practically held my hand and made me feel like I could fly this pelican through the eye of a needle. Next thing I knew, I was dropping him off to make some grunts wish they'd never left whatever godforsaken rock they came from. <laughs> you know, at first, I wasn't sure how human the chief was under all that machinery. But he sure knew what made this human tick. And it takes one to know one. I'm going to resupply at the autumn, and we'll reconvene with the chief again shortly. But log this mission a success. Foe hammer out. Oh, <laughs> she is my kind of pilot. Hey, locate and play the next log from Captain Raleigh. Can't wait to hear what else she got mixed up in. Carol Raleigh was killed in action on Installation 04, September 22nd, 2552. Oh, it, two days. Huh, that's all she lasted after that. Oh, she just seemed so alive. You have cleared a sufficient amount of ice from the console. Great. Of the 6,481 first-person accounts on the Master Chief, I wonder how many of them are still living. I mean, even with all the times the Chief has pulled someone from the fire, war catches up with everyone. Eventually, the odds don't work in your favor. Oliver, update on our survival statistics now that we've vented an invitation to the enemy. We now have a 44% chance of capture, 36% chance of fatality. Hey, how high have those stats ever gone in our past missions together? The average naval intelligence field operative has a varying success and survival rate. A typical statistical regression would- Cut the doublespeak. I want to know about my missions. How perilous is this life of mine? Past missions are classified. Even for someone who was there and just can't quite remember them? Especially for someone like that. Take solace. You are here. You survived, despite the odds. Proximity sensor activated. Now what? A Phaeton squadron has spotted us and plotted an intercept course. A what? What's up? Enemy ships inbound. Brevity appreciated. Can we outrun them or outmaneuver them? Negative on both. Okay. What else is in this sector? The nearest astronomical object of note is a gas giant planet, less than 0 .006 AU from this location. Gas giant. I can use this. I just have to channel my inner foe hammer. Oliver, get ready to update those probabilities. I want you to steer us right towards that planet. On what trajectory, Lieutenant? A collision course. Once we're caught in its gravitational pull, fire a single thruster to set us into a controlled spin. Then shut down all systems, including life support. And yourself. There are significant risks associated with this plan. But if that squadron thinks we're uninhabited space junk on our way to burning up in the planet's atmosphere, they might just lose interest in us. Doesn't that improve our chances? Of evading capture, yes, significantly. Of evading death, it does not. And capture is the worst kind of failure, correct? That is correct. Course set. You will have to manually restart the engines and ship systems, or risk actually burning up in the atmosphere of the planet. By my calculations, based on the gas giant's gravity well, the shuttle should be able to fall for the duration of 47 rotations before it is pulled too low to recover. 47. Copy. The Phaeton Squadron is about to come into visual range. All right. Put us into the spin and cut the engines. Control dive initiated. I recommend you shut down all other systems now. Shutting down. Oh, and Lieutenant? Good luck. <laughs>